All right, we'll be reading The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his favorite snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this, and then he walked with his toes pointing in like that. He dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow to make a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, whoop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it'd be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman, and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber and he climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and then slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm, put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his white socks. He thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty and the snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. That's the end.